Brandon Malcolm Turnbull. <laughs> How are you, bro? Yeah, not bad. Yourself? Yeah, good. Thanks, bro. Um, so, um, we've had a busy, busy, busy 12 months with you. Obviously, you had your first fight, had a long break between that and then your second, and then you pumped out of the 11th. This will be your 11th fight in the last 12 months, which I commend you on. That's a huge achievement. You're, you've equaled the best ever, which was Panna. Uh, he also did 11 in, his, in a year, so... Um, I just want to do these videos so people get to know Brandon. Brandon's decided, he decided early on that it was, he was going to do a year and then that was kind of it. So um, I want to do a little three part thing on what he's learned over the last 12 months especially, because it's been a pretty hectic 12 months. Um, what would you say, for the first part, like, what would you say were the good aspects of it? I just, what was good about it was getting away, I did a lot of getting away, just getting stuck into it, like learned a lot about myself, what, what, what I'm capable of doing, if I actually stick into something and power through it, um, just meeting a lot of people, met a shit ton of people, like even uh, a couple of days ago, a young lad from Budo just mentioned that I, he, I was in his interclub. Like I was referenced in the club and I was like, I didn't remember you, but like now being remembered, like obviously I'm not a huge name of any sorts, but like I am around now. So it's kind yeah, of and that, that, that's the thing, you have earned a name, especially like within like our amateur SA scene because you've been so active on it as well as every other month going interstate. Um, I don't know what the numbers work out to, how many you had here, how many you had there and stuff, but um, where did you get to travel to? Obviously Melbourne? Yeah, Moivik was the main one. Yeah. And then we did the Sydney one recently. Sydney and Ballina. Yeah, oh yeah, Ballina. And Ballina. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So that was, that was another New South Wales. That was, yep. that was a good one. So, good the, yeah, the good, you know, the proper amateur scene with the with the Victorian amateurs and the New South Wales amateurs, the two states that are doing it the best. Um, what what parts of the, of the training that you struggled with early did you find coming to terms with or come what you found getting easier as you went on what what bits were come across you know which weren't the devil at the end you know that were the, the devil in the uh, beginning at the start it would just be mainly more fitness like getting fit staying, being at that point but once i got quite fit it was kind of just flew through it so i wasn't i wasn't really struggling as much as i was and ma mainly my mind was keeping me down like i'd be like oh I'm fucking tired yeah and then I'd do it, and I'd be like, oh, I'm just as tired as I was before those five rounds. But I'm still in my mind, I'm fucking tired now. Yep. I was like, was I tired before, really, technically, if I was able to do that? Yep. So, so that's the thing, you, you obviously, it's a, and it's also translates across to life, right? Mm. Like you can have, you can be tired in life, but you're still going to get, keep on, keep on keeping on. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, that'll do for, for today's video. We'll do another one. Over the, in the next few days and yeah I want to do a little three part series I want it to be a little lesson for people who you know not everyone's going to go pro and you know it was an opportunity that you could have possibly gone pro there was no match up so your final fight could have possibly been a pro one but wasn't meant to be um, but yeah some people you know they they need to know what we go through as especially in your amateur career because it's when you should be just racking it up and just jumping in there so um, yeah I commend you on that bit and um We'll speak to you again over the next few days. Bye. Bye.